Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today we are from 7 group We would like to present about Victorian literature The member of the group are Enda Tulistari, Septiana Dwi Praptiwi, Arrozak Maulana Ajisa Putra, Muhammad Sihab Ada, and Sofia Tunikma And for the first presentation is about Victorian novel that will be present by me uh, the Victorian era of British history was the period of Queen Victoria's, re Victoria's reigns from uh, 1837 until her death in 1901. It was a long period of peace, prosperity, refined culture, great advancement in technology, and national self-confidence of Britain. The Victorian era was the greatest age of English novel. The novel as a genre rose to entertain in the resigned middle class and to depict of the contemporary life of changing society. Uh, the Victorian period of English history witnessed a set of complex political, social, uh, scientific and philosophical developments and then there are some characteristics of the Victorian novel the first omniscience narrator predicted a common on plot and creates a rigid barrier between right and wrong uh, attention to specific action and very variable consequences then release a world common action symbolism of industrial civilization anonymous life and lost identity then region sorry revenge and punishment in the final chapter long and complicated plot and the last creation of character and deep analysis of their life And then, here are the Victorian novelists in Victorian era. The first, there is Charles Dickens. He was a Victorian novelist and social satirist, generally regarded as the greatest novelist of the Victorian period. Dickens showed compassion and empathy toward the vulnerable and advantage segment of English society and contributed to several important social reform. Uh, in 1843, novella A Christmas Carol remains especially popular and continues to inspire adaptation in every artistic genre. Oliver Twist and Great Expectation are also frequently adapted and like many of his novels, a work image of early Victorian London. His uh, 1859 novel A Tale of Two Cities set in London and Paris is his best known work of historical fiction, the most famous celebrity of his era, he undertook in response to public demand, a series of public reading tours in the later part of his career. The next novelist is William McCarthy Stackway. In uh, William was born in Calcutta, India, and he was also an important writer, but one who expressed his age very differently from Dickens and other writers. Nah, his uh, 1848 novel, Vanity Fair, a panoramic portrait of British society, and the 1844 novel, The Love of Barry Lyndon, which was adapted for a 1975 film by Stanley Kubrick. 
and the next there are Anna Bonti, Carla Bonti. They are the most original novelists of this period. The Bonti sister, Bronte sister, wrote fiction rather different from that common at the time. Anna, Carla, and Emily Bronte produce a notable work of the period. Although these were not immediately appreciated by Victorian critics. And the next novelist is Elizabeth Gaskell. Elizabeth Gaskell, popular called Mrs. Gaskell, wrote short stories and novels that dealt with presenting a social picture of the society in the 18th 60th century, while well, it was a time when talk about material progress, reacting the actual life of the ordinary men were starting to be raised. Uh, Gaskell mostly kept an optimistic view of the time. And the next novelist is Anthony Tropels. Anthony Topols was one of the most successful, prolific, and respected English novelists of the Victorian era. Tropels novels portray the life of the landowning and professional classes of early Victorian England. Then there is a George Eliot, pen name of Mary Anne Evans. Georgia Elliot was really a woman who chose a male pen name for herself. Her stories reflected the reality of life in rural England. 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 A depicted the effect urbanization have on small town or of the difficulties of local political disputes. He showed her novels of many different characters who lived in the same small town. She showed a critical appreciation for its a psychological description of the character and realistic description of real life. The next novelist is Georgia Meredith. Georgia Meredith best remembered of his novel, The Ordeal of Richard Reverell, uh, 1859, and The uh, Echoist, 1879. His reputation stood very high well into the 20th century, but then uh, seriously declined. Then there is a Thomas Hart Hardy. Thomas Hardy must be regarded as the key a foreign, forerunner of the Victorian novelist in literature. His test of the Urberlip Urbe is a famous novel. It's a simple girl who is preyed upon by an aristocratic menace. Uh, he sought uh, here to escape his ideal on the moral and Victorian society. And last, there is a George Gissing, another significant late uh, 19th century novelist is George Gissing, who published 23 novels between 1990 and, eh, sorry, between 18, 1880 and 93. His best known novel is New Group Street in 1891. Uh, that's all for Victorian novelis and the next presentation will be presented by Septi. The Victorian novel, American novel, from Romanticism to Realism. The mid 
19th century, the preeminence of literature from the British Isles began to be challenged by writers from the former American colonies. A major influence on American writers at this time was Romanticism, which gave rise to New England Transcendentalism and the publication of Ralph Waldo Emerson's 1836 essay. Nature is usually considered the watershed moment at which transcendentalism became a major cultural movement. The romantic American novel developed fully with Nathaniel Hawthorne's 1804-1864, The Scarlet Letter, 1850. By the 1880s, however, psychological and social realism were competing with romanticism in the novel. American realist fiction has its beginning in the 1870s with the works of Mark Twain, William Dean Howells, and Henry James. Mark Twain, the pen name used by Samuel Langhart Clemens, 1835-1910, was the first major American writer. Twain's style changed the way Americans write their language. His characters speak like real people and sounds distinctively American, using local dialects, newly invented words, and regional accents. Henry James, 1843 to 1916, was a major American novelist of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Ames confront the old the old world to new world dilemma by writing directly about it genre fiction the premier cast story writer of the 19th century was sheridan Levanu. his works include the macabre mystery novel uncle silas 1865 and his scotic novel carmilla 1872 Bram Stoker's horror story Dracula 1897 belongs to a number of literary genres, including vampire literature, horror fiction, codic novel, and invasion literature. Other Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes is a brilliant London-based consulting detective famous for his intellectual prowess. Conan Doyle wrote four novels and 56 short stories featuring Holmes, which were published between 18 and 87 and 19 and 27. The last word literary genres was inspired by real stories of archaeological discoveries by imperial adventurers. The last word literary genres was inspired by real stories of archaeological discoveries by imperial adventurers in 1885. Contemporary European politics and diplomatic maneuverings in prompt. Children's literature. Literature for children developed as a separate genre. Examples Lewis Carroll, Alice Adventures in Wonderland, 1865, and its sequel through the looking class, Robert Louis Stevenson, 1850 to 18. 94. Treasure Island, 1883, is the classic pirate adventure. At the end of the Victorian era and leading into the Edwardian era, Beatrix Potter was an author and illustrator best known for her children's book which featured animal characters. In her 30s, Potter published the highly successful children's book, The Tale of Peter Rabbit in 1902, Potter eventually went on to publish 23 children's book and became a wealthy woman. Victorian poetry. Victorian poetry refer to the first composed during the reign of Queen Victoria in English. 1000 837 until 1901. This period was marked by tremendous cultural upheaval. There were 
a drastic change and development in the form of literature, art, and music. Characteristic of Victorian poetry. The characteristic of Victorian poetry are realism. The Victorian poetry was quite realistic in nature and quite less idealist as compared to the romantic poets who were idealist and believed in art for the art's sake. Nature that was everything for the romantic loss that idealist position in the Victorian era and became just a source of leisure and inspiration for the poets. Next, focus on mazes. Romantic poetry mainly focus on the rural and rustic life. It is no way related to the city life. On the other hand, Victorian poets use language as well as themes common to city life and thus wrote about the masses and for the masses. And then, pessimism. As already discussed, Victorian were quite realistic and thus were more concerned about the reality rather than the ideal world due to the industrial revolution and advancement in science and technology. There was a drastic increase in the city population that gave rise to slums, poverty, unemployment, corruption, diseases, death, and etc. Science and Technology The advancement in science and invention was welcomed by the Victorian poets. It made them believe that man can find all solutions to his problem and suffering. They made the reader believe that they sold you science for their betterment. Questioning to God it was an important feature of Victorian poetry, the development of empirical science, rationalism, and radicalism led the people to give up religious talk and be more skeptic. Moreover, corruption in the court, defining the morality of Christ, etc., also led the people to question the religious institution. And then, sense of responsibility. The romantic belief in return in nature. A number of the romantics didn't like the city life, and instead of giving voice to the victims of industrialization, they left the city life. On the other hand, Victorian poets took the responsibility of social reform and gave voice to the commoners by living with them. Morality took morality saw a steep decline in the Victorian era. A number of poets tried to retain it by encouraging the people to be honest and noble. Interest in medieval myth and folklore. The Victorian show great favor toward medieval literature. They love mythical chivalrous anecdote of medieval knight, courtly love, etc. This interest is on contrary on the romantics as the latter love classical myth and legend. And next, use of sensory device and imagery. The poets of the preceding era use imagery vividly. However, the Victorian also used sensory device.
to describe the abstract skins of chaos between religion and science. Sentimentality The Victorian wrote about artistic creation thus giving way to deeper imagination. And the last, humor. A number of poets wrote humorous and whimsical verses, example, bad ballads. American Poetry American America also produced major poets in the 19th century, such as Emily Dickinson and Walt Whitman. America's two greatest 19th century poets called Hartley have been more different in temperament and style. The first figure is Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman was a working man, a traveler, a self-appointed nurse during the American Civil War, and a poetic innovator. His major work was Leaves of Grass, in which he uses a free-flowing verse and lines of irregular line to depict the all-inclusiveness of American democracy. His work contains 20 poems in a theme book. The book is published in up to 9 editions. It's with word chance, line correction, and emphasis that saw the power of literature. The work also had a profound influence in the United States. Whitman's name is also well known in Europe since William Rossetti's 1898 work in England, namely Poems of Walt Whitman. Not surprisingly, when he died in, nine, in 1892, he became a legend in his homeland. The second figure is Emily Dickinson. On the other hand, Emily Dickinson lived the sheltered life of a genteel, unmarried woman in a small town, Amherst, Massachusetts. Within its formal structure, her brother is ingenious, witty, exquisitely work, and physically penetrating. Her work was unconventional for its day, and little of it was published during her lifetime. Emily Dickinson's life and works have been the source of inspiration to artists, particularly to feminist-oriented artists of a variety of mediums. The next material is Victorian drama. In 1855, the German entertainments began a process of elevating the level of musical theater in Britain that culminated in the famous series of comic operas by Gilbert and Sullivan and was followed by the 1890s with the first Edwardian musical comedies. The length of France in the theater changed rapidly during the Victorian period. As transport improved, poverty in London diminished and street lightning made for several travel at night, the number of potential patrons for the growing number of theatres increased enormously. Plays could run longer and still draw in the audiences, leading to a better profits and improved production feelings. The first play to achieve 500 consecutive performances was the London comedy Our Boys opening in 1875. Its record of 1,362 performances was passed in 1892 by Charlie's own. Several of Gilbert's and Sullivan comic operas broke the 500 performance barrier, beginning with 8 M. S. Pinafore in 1878 and Alfred Chelier and B. C. Stephenson's 8 1886 hit, Dorothy ran for 931 performances. After W.S. Gilbert, Oscar Wilde became the leading poet and dramatist of the late Victorian period. Wilde's plays in particular stand apart from the many new forgotten plays of Victorian times and have much closer relationship to those of the Edwardian dramatists such as Irish playwright George Bernard Shaw, whose career began in the last decade of the 19th century. While this 1895 comic masterpiece, The Importance of Being Burners, 
Ernest holds an ironic mirror to the aristocracy and displays a mastery of wit and paradoxical wisdom.